All right, so according to a news source, the president in a letter read um, yesterday by Senate President Ahmed Lawan said that um, the fresh 800 million naira loan will be used to scale up the national social safety net program, right, to assist poor and vulnerable Nigerians in coping with the cost of meeting basic needs. He wrote, please note that the Federal Executive Council approved an additional loan facility to the tune of $800 million to be secured from the World Bank for, national, for the National Social Safety Net Program and the need to request for your consideration and approval to ensure early implementation. He further added that the program is intended to expand um, coverage of um, shock responsive safety net support among the poor and vulnerable Nigerians. And this will assist them in coping with the cost of meeting basic needs. Now, considering our current realities, right, do you think President Muhammad Buhari's 800 million naira loan is the way to go? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 eight zero three eight four six six three. You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa One with the hashtag Wayshow. I have a lot to say, right? But I'm going to hold my peace <laughs> and let me let all the ladies go first. So who wants to go first? <laughs> <laughs> Mary is definitely not in the mood for this. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't know if if this is the right way to go, but do we even have a say? in the first place because they've already signed it so what's really the point mm. and we keep borrowing money and i think there are other ways we can you know help the poor because are you are you going to distribute this money to the poor people yeah, that's what they've said that's what they said that they're going to distribute it mm. Mm. as per per palliative like covid um <laughs> distribution or what like <laughs> like how it doesn't make any sense <laughs> It, we all know that that's not what's going to be done. And I think it's just very sad that the, the, they kind of take us for a fool because I don't know why you would just come out and announce this kind of thing. And obviously, I, like, I'm trying to imagine like the people on the streets hearing this and they're just looking at how hopeless it seems because where, where do you want to complain from? Where do you want to start from? You know, the people at the top are just signing budgets uh, taking the money he, he's going to leave the office when in a few, in a few weeks mm -hmm. and his own share will be done and he's saying oh i'm done oh, i'm done with the country i'm not even going to stay with you people and yet you're signing and a yet you're signing a a large loan you know leaving the country in a larger debt so it makes no sense to me um nigeria's problem is pretty much be beyond me i, <laughs> I mean <laughs> i can see for your body like language. let everybody just do their best. Um, God for us all. God for us all, you know, uh, <laughs> spread love, like I'll say. But, I mean, to be honest, this, I don't think it's the way to go. I think there could have been other things. Um, I'm not really into the whole financial sector, but I'm very much sure that there are, more, there are a thousand and one ways we could have avoided signing this large amount of debt hmm. into our books. Wait, so let me come to you. <laughs> you can't spend what you don't have mm -hmm. in such a reckless manner. I mean, first and foremost, to be fair, the president has been consistent. He is, top of my head, I'm trying to make sure this is the right word. He's a socialist. Everybody would be okay. I would just want to give everybody fish, you know, whether it's sustainable or not. Um, it wasn't the 800 million that shocked me. If I take the trajectory of this government and leadership in general in this country, we have a huge trust issue where you should be wor like working your tail off to improve your perception within the populace, mm. to build your trust, to build transparency, right? That should be your focus. You should be addressing what is extremely important to the general populace so that the people believe that they have a voice, so that the people believe that you know what their problems are. This is the best you're going to do. Um, it reeks of 
Anybody that watches the show knows me. I don't just like the less bash for bashing sake. I always try to look at things as objectively as I can. And when I saw this, I just thought, I mean, there's just no soap to wash this clean. Because the truth is, I mean, there are just too many problems around this. First of all, it's the last but few weeks. But the logic, I cannot find it's, logic. In the last few weeks. No, because I would say it. I mean, where it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. Where it makes sense, it makes sense. <laughs> you have a few more weeks in office. Mm. This is a very tentative period. As far as I'm concerned, it's the good Lord that's keeping this country together right yes. now. Yes. This is a very tentative period. You don't want to do anything. There are a lot of angry people. You don't want to do anything to tip the balance. Then you rock up one morning and say, you know, the best thing I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go and take more debt. Let's not stop at a 10 million, 20 million, 100 million. 800 let's million just dollars. Let's shoot for the sky and let's go for 800 million dollars. This is, I'm just going to mortgage your entire future. Hmm. Now, what hurt me even more was I said, okay, let me see what this 800 million is we'll for. Mm. Are you trying to maybe give <coughs> quick allocations to maybe the infrastructure projects that you, you know, already started? He's done a lot in that space, whether it's whatever, it's the railway, you know, all the different projects and plethora of things that are going on all across Nigeria. <laughs> maybe it was that, so that I want to leave a legacy of maybe I've done these projects and I've created revenue and I've given us something that you can, you know, leave and hold on to. No, no, no. It wasn't that. Now, I then saw the National Social Safety Network Program. At first, I thought, hang on, is this a defense system for Nigeria? <laughs> and this is how my mind processes things. So I had to go back and check that, you know, um, a couple of days ago, I think it was last week, there was something in the news about Ukraine deploying this massive technology from America that allowed them to stop a certain type of Russian uh, missile and, you know, fantastic. So I thought, <laughs> is it something like that? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, I'm serious, guys. And I thought that that was it. But no, then I, I saw the word in there, social. I said, I can't be. So what is it? <laughs> then I read a few places, I asked a few people, and they said no, that the program is a social intervention program that will stimulate activities in the informal sector, improve nutrition, health, education, and human capital development of beneficiary households. Again, sounds wonderful. <laughs> I'm going somewhere. Sounds great. And then I kept reading. So now, to do all of these things that I've read, nutrition, health, human capital, you know, all of these fantastic things, Please, how much is each household now going to get? This is where it gets fantastic. Yes, sir. Absolutely wonderful that we are now going to offer a 5, whopping... No, uh -uh. Why is it 5,000? You are calling it like... <laughs> call it gravitas. <laughs> you are going to offer a whopping sum <coughs> of 5,000 naira per month to 10.2 million poor and low-income households mm -hmm. for a period of six months with a multi a multi effects on about 60 million individuals. <sighs> Again, I don't know how to sell this one. Because I don't care what cater of society you are in, 5,000 naira will not last you more than a few days. Like, so it is not going to educate your children because they can't pay school fees, even in the government schools. It's not going to feed your family for a week. It's not, I mean, a, one person will feed themselves for maybe three days, or maybe let's with even five thousand naira. Oh, well, I'm, see, I'm trying say, to be positive yeah. here. Let's say three, three so what you've things, essentially maybe. done is put us in debt to give people fish. You didn't say I want to direct this to a couple of nets that will make a huge impact. You didn't talk about education. I mean, I saw somewhere where the Asu, Asu I think it was Asu chairman was foaming at the mouth about this whole thing about how, how can you spend this money? You don't care about education. <laughs> All of these things, I'm like, so now, Uti, oh, like, Uti, how do you come here and then try to say that, you know, you will give the government a break? <laughs> There's a lot of things wrong here, and I am upset because I am one of those people that I give you the benefit of the doubt. When you do something good, I shout. But today, my mouth is closed because I am, I let me, I'm shocked. So let me now help you, Uti. You know where the thing now killed me finish in this country? 
A country that has refused to take census. Mm -hmm. A country that refuses mm -hmm. to get appropriate data. How did you <coughs> come about calculating 10.6 million households? Out of, out of the 200 out of million. The two, over, over 200 million that we're not no, really no, sure no. of Let's our numbers. Let's not even go at over 200 million. Let's just say 200 million. Do you know what I'm saying? So you cannot, like, I don't understand. See, sometimes I wonder if truly our leaders <coughs> are actually, like, they really... I don't want to be insulted, but sometimes do they really sit back to listen to themselves when they talk? Or when they act, do they go back to review what it is that they are doing? Ten point whatever million, you have not done census. You don't know your numbers. You don't know how many people are truly in need. Then in your current economy as a country, what exactly can 5,000 Naira do for you and as a person? Somebody will come up with me and say, oh, I forget it. There are some people that with 500 Naira, they can feed. They can do this. They can... Yeah, but even if they can do it with 500 now, that's gone. still... No, 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 no. Let's even take that argument, right? Because, yes, I mean, with 500 now, you can have a meal. It may not be a great meal, but you can have a meal. <coughs> but my point is, it's still 10 meals in the grand scheme of your life. There are 30 days in a month. You can't even eat once a day. So the point is, right... I like the, 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 the direction that you're going in about the census. I mean, again, when I saw this... <coughs> and you know sometimes when they try to cover your eyes, like they try to distract you, then I see... Oh, these monies are going to be distributed electronically. It's me you want to wash. So wait now. <laughs> now there be they go. <laughs> you no. So, yeah, so before you even go to wanting to take it digitally, <laughs> that's why I said I liked where we were started from. What is the assessment criteria to pick 10.2 million households out of the entire scope of Nigeria? <laughs> what is, you know, because there must be some assessment. There must be some parameters so, that you what, would use. <laughs> so what is the assessment? How is it going to be done? We have data issues in Nigeria. We have the, um, um, what does NASA call it now? Um, the people that um, don't have any identification. Yes. You have all those guys, oh, right? Yeah. Um, we don't even know who you are. We don't even know who you, whether you exist. Coming back to your point about the census, right? We don't know any of those things. So is it, because for me to transfer electronically, that means it's the people that have BVN, BVN. people that have account Everything. number. And guess what? If you want to change lives, it's not those people you need to give 5,000 Exactly. Let me even come to, back to even this electronic transfer. <laughs> No, we have seen, and this is not something that is actually strange to a lot of Nigerians. There will be allocations. So I was talking to, um, what's her name? The football, cha um, sorry, not football, the huddle uh, champion. Yes, the world. Um, uh, world what's her name? Um, uh, Toby uh, Amusa. And she said that, you know, she was very visibly angry that she went to, Ab they flew her into Abuja. Did all the razzmatazz, did all the pictures, took all the things and said, oh, they had allocated this, they allo allocated that. That till tomorrow, eh? everything that they said they gave her in Abuja, she has not used her eyes to see that. If they gave her maybe yesterday that she, she's not aware of. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is something that it is even televised and all of that. This, I know. First of all, they will never do it electronically. Because you see in Nigerian system, right? If I come, I give you 10,000 naira, I say go and distribute. You first of all keep 5,000 naira, right? You keep 5,000 naira and you take 5,000 naira, you give it to somebody that will take 3,000 naira out. At the end of the day, it might just be like 1,000 naira that will get <coughs> whoever it is that needs that money. And they'll say they've shared. Do you understand what I'm saying? But in the mind of the president, 800 million naira has been dispersed to 10.8 million people. You act as if you do not know your system. If they even did it electronically, Uti, let's even say, okay, yes. They called all the banks, okay, they want to disburse, disburse this money. I will not even be pained. I know how the system works in Nigeria. You now say, oh, market woman, they don't have account, they don't do this. You bring all sorts of excuses. Because guess what? 80% of that money will go into the coffers of people that are already wealthy. So when Governor Fashola was doing the housing scheme, sorry, Mary. Governor Fashola was doing the housing scheme for Lagos State, the one that, you know, I applied for and all of that. Mm. Now, part of why he put very strict um, um, conditions was because over the years, civil servants, because they are privy to those information, they are privy to when there's a development and all of that, he put those measures that if your name is, what's it called, if your name is on the system, mm. you can, you, they cannot approve whatever. Mm. And guess what happens, Right. All of those, all of those, um, what's it called, um, civil servants, 
they could not get anything. anything. It was the real people that needed it. It mm. hit. So people that needed it got, um, what's it called? They got the houses. Mm. And so it, that was impact. Because first of all, you had to, first of all, cancel the exist, existing structure. So you had to be a taxpayer. You had to be this. You had to be that. You had to be a first-time homeowner that you don't have any records at all in lands. Mm. Now somebody now wakes up and says, you want to go and take $800 million. Do you know what that is? And you now say, see what you're exactly you're doing. You, I mean, you're using the 800 million naira for, for a country that you have refused to take census, you don't know your actual numbers. How would you know what you're fighting if you don't even know the data? What would you know that you're fighting? We'll take a break. When we come back from that break, this conversation, please, I want to leave it in oh, your I hands. Need to drink <laughs> ah, I need to drink water. <laughs> All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, if you just tuned in, it's our ladies' night out, and we're discussing the topic um, is President Muhammadu Buhari's 800 million naira loan request the way forward. Now, please let's hear what you have to say. <coughs> Remember, you can join the conversation, send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 803 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa 1 with the hashtag Wayshow. Uti, I don't even know what to say. Mary, I'm confused. I mean, Okay, our phone line, sorry, is now open. The number to call is 70 That's the number to call. Remember to turn off the volume of your television set. Please, when you call, don't insult him. Don't insult anybody. Just tell us what is what is angering you, like the way I'm upset right now. Like, so okay. Um, I mean, why part of why I said that I don't want to have a lot of children is because I understand the implication, the cost implication to my pocket. If you really want to have decent education. For your children, you want to give them healthy, I mean, a good, good home, good meals and all of that. You can't have too many. You know, gone are the days where you have like, you born like 15, 20, you know, these days, a lot of parents are actually sticking to one, two kids or at most maybe four, right? Mm. Because they understand the financial implication that it has. Now, Nigeria is a country that we have a father, a global father, right? Global father now. You don't know how many children you born. <laughs> Let me take Austin from Benny. Let me calm down. <laughs> Austin, thank you for calling. You're live. Good evening, madam. Good, e good evening to you all. Hi, good evening. Welcome back. We thought we thought you Jack Bardo. <laughs> I wish I did though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, um the issue is this. The eight hundred million US dollars is to cushion the effect of huh. Uh, the subsidy remover, because obviously when the subsidy is removed, uh, there will be increase in the prices of petroleum products. And that will further affect the economy. And, and the most vulnerable people in the society will, will suffer. So uh, in their own uh, reasoning, that uh, money will now be used to cushion that effect. But I, in my own opinion, I don't think it will, I don't think it's going to work. Uh, it's not going to work because how do they even determine the most vulnerable people <coughs> in our society? But again, the loan, well, if they take the loan eventually, if they take the loan eventually, I'm not even sure the government, the next government is going to remove the subsidy immediately because that would be a recipe for, for chaos. Hmm. Uh, it will not be good for the coming government to take the subsidy. So we are seriously advising on that. Let, let the refineries work first. Our refineries should work. Okay, uh, Dangote refinery is coming on stream now at the end of the month. And then if other refineries are put in order, then you can stop the subsidy. And then, because that would mean that there will no longer be importation of uh, petroleum products Absolutely. into the country. Well, Austin, so the problem so, I have, right... It's not even about, it is the structure of, I mean, Chinasa used to say the anyhowness that we do things, right? You want to give vulnerable people. Do you even know the people that are vulnerable in the society? They don't know. So you're able, yeah. you're able yeah. talking yeah. about vulnerable. They said poor household. Poor, how, why, why would you how identify they, them? How, what, how do you what define a poor for? household? And then because right you, now, I'm a poor household. So when you talk no. about the, the most vulnerable people, they are not in households. They're not even in houses. 
Yeah, I agree with you. Hello? Yes, go ahead, Austin. I, I agree with you that uh, most of those monies will go into private kids. I mean, we are in Nigeria. We know what uh, is happening here. What goes here. on? Uh, the the so-called vulnerable person, not all, not all of them will be able to get the money. So we're actually advising the government. What we're telling the government is stop the loan and then make your refineries work and so that there will be no longer importation of oil. Because obviously, if our refineries are working, uh, the, the prices of petroleum products will come down. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Austin. All right, I mean... <laughs> so it's, a, it's, a it's for me, whatever you do, mm. so when you take a loan, if you as an individual were going to take a loan, you would assess your ability to repay your exposure. Your exactly. You'd ex you would look at how you would continue to live because you have to pay this loan in addition to your other expenses Expense. and debt and all of that. Um, and you would weigh all of these things against the value you'd be getting from whatever that money you were going to be borrowing was for. What impact, right? How are we going to measure the impact on this? Now, I understand that $800 million, naira, um, $800 million sorry, um, going into the Nigerian economy, because if I get this money, I'll spend it on food, I'll spend it on all of these different aspects. It's a huge boost to the economy. But we know that the money is not going to go where it's supposed to go. And we know that when this money goes in the, in the places, to the places where it will go, nine out of ten times, it will be used to repurchase dollar. Hmm. And it will leave the country. God help us. Let me take Remy Adegoke from Joss. You're live. Hello, Remy, you're live. Hello, hello. Uh, uh, Go ahead. Go, good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, when the uh, government is protesting, hello. We can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. In respect of this uh, $800 million to for palliative. I think it's just uh, a way of uh, sabotaging the economy and make it worse. Thank you, Remy. Because nothing that uh, the government has proposed to benefit the public public that has actually benefit anybody. This such money will eventually end up in private pocket. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I mean, yeah. please, when you call, remember to turn the vol turn off the volume of the device you're, you're watching us from so we don't get a feedback. Yeah, go ahead. I said we're all saying it's the same, same thing. And Nobody and trusts the... And the sad thing is that, like, what Uti was... Where she was going with that analysis. Like me now, there are some loans I cannot take any. Do you understand? Not because um, I do not have... I mean, every day, but your bank, they always send me a message. Take this loan. Uh, one thing, one thing. I have, I, I can get up now and they will give me, you know, a huge sum of money. But look at it critically. Do I need that? And if I take out my monthly income, will it be able to sustain that loan? You know, whatever it is I'm making, what are we generating as a country? How are we earning, you understand, as a country? We're not earning money. Yet we are we are it just boring. So you do not. That means you don't have intent, and that's why somebody like Adigo case, um, I, I, I um, 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 saying that the co is is almost like a deliberate attempt to sabotage the economy would be would, would be accepted, because you don't have any plans. All you want to do is continue to just borrow and borrow and borrow. Where is the plan to to mm. to, to to what's it called get back this money? Mm. The farmers that need, um, what's it called loans. To be able to probably buy equipment <coughs> to grow their economy, to be able to maybe export goods and all of that. You are not giving them those monies. Mm. The people that can generate manufacturers that can that we 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 can bank on and so they can generate um uh, what's it called income for us, we're not banking on those people. Mm. You know, and you are there saying that you want to give loans and palliatives when you have not been able to distribute noodles. <laughs> you have not been able what? to distribute what noodles. Such a low blow. Like, really? <laughs> No. So As in when I saw this topic, I was prepared though. That was why I smiled all the smile. I needed to this, smile. No, I mean, I, and, and you're, you're so right. And this is where I come back to that whole aspect of trust and transparency. You're not doing yourself any favors by doing this. Even if, you know, when you are going to make a decision, you weigh a lot of different um, areas of input to kind of decide if it's the right decision. 
even if we take what Austin said and said, okay, this was their own version of a plan to ease the impact For of subsidy. removing the subsidy, it's all well and good. So you come to the table and you say, okay, I have a plan. Here are my ideas and my thoughts around how we're going to fix this problem or ease the distress. Great. You bring a plan to the table and then we start to consider different factors. You, just, you consider how it will be um, accepted, how it will be viewed, the impact, how you're going to convince people, given the challenges that you know that you have. You have a trust issue, you have a transparency issue, you have a corruption issue. I mean, the list goes on and on. And you start to weigh the pros and the cons. It's almost like doing a SWOT analysis, right? And you ask yourself whether this is the way to go. There are so many things. Typically, when a, 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 an administration is outgoing, they spend these last minutes signing happy bills hmm. so that, you know, we can leave all it's these not sorts my problem. of wonderful... No, even that it's not your problem, but, you know, things that last minute just things we can sign, these are the great things we've done. But you don't go and stir up a hornet's nest to say that I just want to spend $800 million hmm. in a way that seems to everybody that is rational, irresponsible. Let me even say that on that subsidy matter, Uti, you and I know that there has not been transparency even in that subsidy. Oh, no, we know that. That's we, have we have portfolio have companies problem. that do not exist. Exactly. That That's go and collect <laughs> subsidy. Do you understand what I'm saying? The amount, of, the amount of decay that has happened, right, and the amount of leakages that we have as a country, where, you know, it's almost like people have just connected all sorts of, um, what's it called, big pipes to drain the coffers of the economy. Mm. You have not sorted those ones out. Mm -hmm. Now, my, I was supposed to do international passports for my son. So the person that we were supposed to do in, in Oshun State mistakenly booked him for Lagos, right? By the time she booked him, I said, so, I mean, I didn't want to do it in Lagos. I wanted to do it, so I'll just pick him to school and all of that. He said, no, you cannot, whatever. But I now said in my head, was there not a TSA account? So how can one person, right, one human being, pay in multiple accounts the same name? You've not even been able to clean up that system. That, oh, no, that once the money that they cannot transfer funds. But I paid the money. Something that you can prove electronically that the transfer has been done. So I've had to pay another money. We got to Lagos now. There was still another issue. I've had to pay another money in Abuja. So one person, I've paid three times to the government. Are you not telling me? that this kind of system, they will not find a way to do magumagode. It doesn't make any sense. I think, I think we can all agree <laughs> that it doesn't make sense. So the, the, <laughs> the, 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 what's it called? The subsidy in itself mm. is a big scam. Oh, no. oh, right? I, we know. Companies so, that do not <laughs> exist are collecting subsidy. You've not addressed that situation. The, the amount of corruption that has happened in the petroleum sector but so, that, so that's why I said that you're even going far. <laughs> All of these things that you're listing have not been addressed in eight years, or they're not going to be addressed before May 29th. So let's be clear, because I mean, you're, I mean, really, there's a lot. Let of, me calm down. No, I know that's why I'm trying to get you to calm down because you. I, I mean, these things. I try to focus on <laughs> on what isn't a moot point. It it is the very problem with the decision for me. It doesn't matter how great the idea is. If it isn't thoroughly weighed and queried and thought out, I mean, you, <coughs> you, you have an entire team. You know, when they said the FEC had signed off on this, I was like, who and what presented this? And on what basis was it signed off? Other than we just thought, ha, ha, ha. How about we just find a way to, you know, our just... final parting gift. Thank you. Um, so we, there, there is no logical, let, let's be clear. Uh, I can say it because I, I pride myself that in that space I got it. There is no logical reason for this conversation that we are having today. And I am pained by that fact. Because every which way you think about it, what was our death profile? At the end of last year, 2022, I think we were already at 46.5 billion or something ridiculous like that. Or was it trillion naira? We were already at that as at the end of 2022. Hmm. So you can understand why this is a problem, right? Yeah, so 46.25 trillion naira as at the end of 2022. It climbed by 17% or, which is equivalent to 6.69 um, trillion last year, setting an, a new all-time high. high. Can you imagine? Now, what is your plan 
to pay back this money because as much as we have been talking about diversifying, 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 let's be clear, we are all still living on oil money. Let's be clear, we're all still living on oil money. And at some point, uh, please, you're watching the way of the world. There are SDG goals around, uh, uh, around climate change. There are, there are uh, there electric cars electric everywhere cars. right now. There are, I mean, the writing is on the wall, folks. It may, be a, it may be, it still be a ways off, but it's not more than a generation. So let me, let me even add to that what you mm -hmm. just said. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> In fact, oh, I calm down. Uti, I've calculated, calculated my brain. I never find any reason. You, you see how people mm -hmm. go and collect federal loans, so, for instance, from Bank of Industry and all mm -hmm. that, with no intent to pay back. Absolutely. Do you understand? As, because it is in our nature. Mm -hmm. You see somebody, you, you go and collect a loan, you know, you and I know you don't have plans to pay back that money. <laughs> Do you understand? And see how this loan issue has dealt with so many banks that some of them have had to probably, you know, merge with other banks. Some of them have had to go under. Some of them, you know, they, somebody just bought them at a giveaway price and all of that. <coughs> you already see what loans are doing. Mm -hmm. And you now wake up, you open your eyes and walk to the World Bank and say, like, really? Well, in fairness... Because Nigerians truly take <laughs> loans with zero intentions. That's why, I mean, there's hardly anybody that will ask me for a loan that I will say, you know, because I... It's better let me know that I'm dashing you that money. Yeah. Well, let's hold on to some positivity. You know, I like Where to... Where is look, it? I like to look... <laughs> I like to look... Where, Where is it? it? Where is it? Um, I can't find well, it. the World Bank hasn't given us a loan yet. They should not give us, please. <laughs> World Bank, I think of people now. <laughs> They haven't given us the loan. And I know, I know IMF has raised concerns. Please, it's not I did get IMF. Um, so, so let's be positive. I mean, but they will not give us. <laughs> our our anyhow well, hold, I mean, this is the time you have to call all those pastors. Let us hold prayer first. May, may they not give Nigeria this loan. <laughs> it's too much. So, so the anyhow -ness of Hi. it. Let's be happy that, you know, they're going to... World Bank, and they're not going to certain other parts ah, of the world in Asia. China. To ask for the money. Oh, you have to call them. I have to so call them wow, because wow. they would have given you the money <laughs> gladly. So, so, only so, to buy us back. So, um, so, yeah, so let's be glad that at least the decision hasn't been taken. I don't even think, um, I, I mean, he presented it to Senate. I don't know if there's been um, an outcome there. So let's hope that there are uh, obstacles do. in the way let's take to, a to stop it. I take God um, back. Uh, World Bank, please all approve that loan. We've had enough loans. <laughs> all right, so I have a comment here from Sanctus. Sanctus says, this is an outrageous request for President Buhari to make such a demand for such money when he still has, um, when he has um, a few days in office. Who is cheating us in this country? How do we determine who and who are the poor in this country? There's no system or mechanism to track and distribute the money to the poor and to make sure that the poor ones are the ones getting the money. Nigeria is a unique country where both the rich and poor cry at the same time because of corruption. Very valid point. The rich, the rich people are corrupt and the poor ones are also corrupt. PMB's $800 million is not the way to go at all. Very Absolutely. Well I have a comment says from Mr. Idris. Good evening, beautiful ladies. Nothing surprises me anymore in Nigeria. Nigeria can be likened to this quote by a philosopher, philosopher who said, this world is a comedy to those who think and a tragedy to those who feel. If you think very well, some things that happen in Nigeria as a comedy. What President Buhari is doing is to do giveaway as his tenure ends soon. <laughs> Uti, you are beautiful, oh, please. Where's Lady? <laughs> oh my God. Is it that President Buhari, they do give away? Ah, I like the way he puts it. You know, there's not all things you Humor. Can't say, yes. So, you know. Ah. <laughs> Uti. They don't use our land to give away. Eight hundred million. <laughs> you know, I mean, when you well, own honestly money. Honestly speaking, uh, for a country, I mean, on a serious note, right? Mm. For a country that is not accountable in any form, mm -hmm. you do a road, maybe a kilometer road that would cost, let's say, a hundred thousand naira. You will put one billion naira there. That's already mm. a leakage. You want oh, to I do like a project. Thing, no, no, wait now. Let, let me, because it's like people are not getting the kind of leaders that we, we have. Get you we get. You know already. We know <laughs> there are leakages. We're not, it's like telling me my name is Uti. See, okay. we know. Let me take off. Sorry, I'll be a puta. Talk by. No verse. Man, no talk again. Talk by, you are live. Go ahead. 
Go ahead, you're live. Yes, the government that are unable to distribute um, dairy, rice, indomie during the um, what is it called? Um, the lockdown. Um, this drink is palliative. I don't know how they want to go about this money. I see this thing as just they just want to cheat the masses because the loan they want to get, how do they want to pay it? The payment is going to be from me, you, and everybody in Nigeria. Mm. Thank you, Tokpe. I mean, it's, for, because I did try to explain something. Una, they say, okay, I understand. But I need to re re reiterate it. That you are not even accountable when it comes to projects that you do. I buy this for 10,000 naira. I will go and tell government that I bought it for 1 billion naira. And somebody would approve it without even going to go and check. The, the market price. You will so, not even buy the one that is that is even now original. You still buy the one. You still buy the one that is that if I use it after two this thing, when I switch it on, it's -na 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 I will hear inside the phone. You know, so like we we are so comfortable, right? Cheating ourselves, dealing with ourselves, right? And you now wake up and say you want to now just give us this final parting gift. Well, what do you it want makes people, no sense. What do you want people to do? We have Mr. Ben from Joss. We have a lot of Joss people today. Oh. Mr. Ben, you're live. Good evening, Nochi. Good evening. And uh, your crew members. Mm -hmm. What I like to say, all the loan that this, our president, has collected since he came, if you take Torchlight or Julius Berger Light and search, you cannot find where they are. The news just last month, we are using 90 something, 98 percent of our income to service, to service debt, Imagine. not to pay off debt, just to service. <laughs> like I borrow 100 naira from you, you tell me every month, pay me 10 naira. We are paying the 10 naira or 100 naira with the whole income that Nigeria is earning. And you are servicing debt, you are going for another debt. I do not know how these people are thinking. God help us. Thank you so much, Mr. Ben. On that note, I think uh, we've had a fantastic conversation. Uti, I will still talk my mind. <laughs> I'm pained, but hey. Um, I'm just hoping that um, maybe some stroke of wave will enter these minds of our leaders and they oh, will begin to i don't know again i, don't, hey, I just did pray let's find the realism in this story your focus right now should pray that the world bank doesn't approve the loan no they won't approve it we have already hey, prayed that so, one in jesus so name don't, 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 all these other <laughs> our leader we've been praying it's been it's been how many years 60 mm. uh, move on ha. Mm. on that note thank you <laughs> thank you mario <laughs> God will be with us in Jesus' name. They Amen. will not have that loan. Amen. <laughs> All right, so before we go, thank you everyone that called. Sorry, we can't take more calls again. Remember, you can um, join, follow us all, on all our social media platforms at Wayshow Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment. And more importantly, follow all our engagements on social media, like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. If you missed our quote from our dear president, justifying why he needs $800 million, it says, you may wish to note that the federal government of Nigeria, under conditional cash transfer window of the program, will transfer the sum of 5,000 naira per month to 10.2 million poor and low-income households for a period of six months, with a multiplier effect on about 60 million individuals. So, this is his idea of Sarah. I haven't just picked up the fact that... So that 5,000 naira, you're talking about households, multiple people. Mm. Ah, God. The Lord help us. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m.